Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Well, it's time to eat another fresh super hot. Now, I've got another one uh, that was grown hydroponically uh, that was sent to me from Stephen Canada, the Pepper Geek, located down in Somerville, South Carolina, from uh, Pepper Geek Farms. I'll put his information down in the description, so make sure you check him out for seeds and uh, I believe some dried powders, and just check out his website for what he has available. Now this one today we're going to be reviewing is called the uh, Yellow Lava. Now I believe this is part of Judy from Pepper Lover, her series of lava peppers. Now I have reviewed the Red Lava, the Chocolate Lava, the Black Lava, uh, but I have never tasted the uh, Yellow Lava. So we're going to check this out. Uh, usually Yellow Pods are not quite as uh, painful as uh, Reds and uh, Brown Pods, but uh, they can be pretty pretty darn hot as well. So let's uh, go ahead and check this one out. Cut it open, see what it smells like. Alright, here's what we got on this one. Pretty uh, a thick, uh, seems pretty thick walled on this one. I'm not too thin. It's got that uh, nice uh, sharp yeah, yellow citrus. Got a little bit of a citrus smell to it. Not quite as, uh, you know, in your face with that strong uh, chinensi capsaicin smell. Uh, doesn't have a whole lot of seeds, which is good. I wouldn't say it's real, real oily inside. Um, it's got a nice aroma on it. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and get right into this one. Here we go. The uh, yellow lava. Start with the end a little bit. Wow. Definitely some sweetness, some fruity sweetness. Um citrus type sweetness <clears throat> but hot it's getting hotter <clears throat> okay let's just go ahead and do it Okay. <clears throat> right now it's really stinging the tip of the tongue. Um, pretty typical. It's about what I expected uh, from a, uh, a yellow super hot like this. Um, I've had yellow marugas. I've had yellow seven pots. Uh, it seems to be uh, kind of in that heat level. Um, but the flavor on this is really, really good. Uh, just kind of what I was hoping it would be. Kind of that nice uh, yellow um, slightly fruity citrus. I think it's more citrus than fruity, but definitely when you taste it, when you first start tasting it before the heat kicks in, there is some sweetness there. You can tell it, kind of a juicy citrus sweetness, which is exactly what you want in a pod like this. My, ear, my ears, my eyes are starting to really uh, tear up a little bit, but uh, right now, uh, the, uh, the burn is just focused on the tongue, tip of the tongue kind of moving back. Um, now it's kind of all over the insides of the mouth. Now the way this is going right now, um, it's hot, it's really, really hot, but I don't think it's going to be on the level like a red super hot, thank goodness. And it shouldn't be because it's a, you know, it's a yellow pod. <sighs> Let's see where this one goes. A really good burn so far. Um, this would definitely be a great pepper to uh, uh, to uh, to taste. Uh, 
if you're trying to build up your tolerance to get used to uh, before you get into some of the hotter red super hots, definitely uh, get your hands on some of these yellow Maruga scorpions, yellow lavas like this, um, even the yellow butcherlochias. <sighs> now it's starting to, you know, kind of leave a trail a little bit down here. This one, uh, just a little bit on the back of the throat here, especially as you talk. But it's got a nice, uh, clean aftertaste. Uh, it's not floral. It's not bitter. It's definitely, um, you know, on more of the sweet, fruity, citrus side. Uh, but it is pretty darn hot. Uh, this is the type of pepper that would be awesome in stir fries, chicken noodle stir fries. Give your uh, dish some color. Instead of using red or yellow bell peppers, use uh, yellow lavas. Uh, yeah, tip of the tongue, then the whole tongue, then kind of the all insides of the mouth, the top, top of the roof of the mouth a little bit, underneath the tongue. And just slightly on the throat, not really a throat burner, but just slightly. I think as I talk more, it just really flames up right in here. <sighs> but not too bad. Whew. Give it a little bit more time. I don't think this is going to be a real long video. Definitely peaked. It's kind of leveling off. Got a little bit of an endorphin rush going on. A little bit of the tingle, tingleness that I get, tingling that I get in the hands and feet, but uh, not quite on the level as those hotter red super hots. <sighs> If I had to guess, you know, um, I'd say somewhere probably between 700,000 to a million in Scoville units most likely would fall in that category. <sighs> Just doesn't have the burn as a million plus uh, pod. Usually your red pods or your brown pods have, but um, really good flavor on this. Kind of reminds me of a of a flavor of a, of a Fatale, which is probably one of my favorite peppers. But not quite that um, citrusy or pronounced in the citrus flavors. And not quite as, uh, definitely not quite as hot as it's either. Okay. Definitely uh, coming down a little bit now. Well, now I can say I think I've done all of the um, the uh, lava series. All the colors go: the red, the brown, the uh, chocolate, or no, the chocolate, the black. Excuse me, and now the yellow. I would say the hottest that I've done of the lavas is definitely the black lava. If you haven't seen that review, check that out. That was a really hot pod. Okay, burns kind of uh, easing up a lot on the throat or the, the mouth, so it's a lot easier to talk now. But once again, that was the yellow lava grown hydroponically from Stephen Canada down in Somerville, South Carolina. An awesome pod, great flavor on that one. If you can grow that, get your hands on that, uh, then you won't regret that one. That was a really good uh, tasting yellow, uh, super hot for sure. All right. Stephen, thank you for sending that one. I do appreciate it. And everybody, thanks for watching. And until the next time, stay tuned for more reviews and enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.